Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of Renegade. There we go. Um, all my OBS settings reset to how it was before I started the stream today, which was pretty fucking nice. Thanks, power outage. Thanks. All right, that's not going to stop me from having a good night tonight in the VWA. That's not going to stop me from anything. And we're just going to continue going strong. We're just going to say, fuck the dark matches. We're going straight into Renegade because... I'm going to try and uh, be optimistic about tonight. But I'm kind of confident that I'm going to have another power outage tonight. Probably. Tonight we have a card full of um, full of matches that could wind up uh, giving us a clue as to who we may see for title contentions. Uh, we have both the TV title and the world title uh, champions, I should say, in matches tonight. In singles action, both Saigusa and Oritaka will be taking on one certain contender. Uh, Saigusa is actually taking on somebody that's debuting tonight, so that is quite the, the development. We got a few debuts tonight, actually. One in the Fatal 4-Way match coming up after our first contest for tonight, and one... Uh, against um, Saigusa, which is kind of nice to say the least. Debuts, again, still happening in the VWA, but uh, we got got quite a lineup of matches tonight. Two Fatal 4-Way contests, two tag teams, and two singles contests. Three, actually. Three singles contests. Because Ash is taking on Astel. Curious to see where things are going to be going out from here, but let's set it down to ringside for our first COD te Um, I just thought of something. E Wait. You know what? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if the crowd's on or not. I don't know if that setting changed or not. If it... I'm trying to think. You know what? Let's just set it down. We'll find out. <laughs> Is it quiet? Yeah, it's quiet. All right, you know what? First matchup, we'll call it a dark match. And just so I don't get taken out for copyright, I'm going to skip the entrances for tonight. Because we've also seen... We've also seen these two tag teams in action quite a bit already. So, nothing new going on for this storyline here. Matchup's underway. These two tag teams beaten once again in the ring. Tyler won with a nice Hurricane Rana. A standing mood saw. A nice one there. Hopefully I'll be able to call the entirety of the opening matchup. Unlike uh, BWA Dark, which happened earlier. Might as well also turn up the volume just a slight bit. Because all you're going to hear is the actual action going on. Which sometimes can get very quiet. Because the crowd's not going ham right now. Because the crowd isn't here yet. Well, we're fine, though. Into the corner. Markiplier gets tagged in. Straight shot to the head there. Tyler 1 and Markiplier looking pretty strong so far today. They haven't allowed Wolf to get any sort of, kind of uh, offense in. Now wrench it on the neck. I'll fix the issue with the with the crowds and stuff in the next contest. Don't don't worry about that. It's it's just I wanted to get this underway and I completely forgot I I had a setting that I needed to change and I didn't think about it until now. My bad. I think that's the second week in a row I've done this on accident where I've forgotten to change the setting and had to do it mid midstream. Wolf tags in Merriweather, now he'll go to work. But he won't get any offense in at the start. Marker player into the corner and then a neck breaker. Since we have a couple tag team actions uh, tonight, one of them may face off against these challenge managers who aren't in any sort of competition tonight. May see them facing off against one of these two one of these two tag teams in the later future because these two have faced off against each other so much one will probably get a title shot at some point or another
I'm very surprised. I haven't seen Markiplier or Tyler One get a shot at the tag titles just quite yet. We may see that in Money in the Bank, but again, I'm not too sure. Money in the Bank is quite a ways away. Wrenching on the chin now. Feels weird not having the crown on, but at the same time, it feels kind of nice. Just having like a nice little chill kind of moment before we get the crowd. Big power bomb, jackknife power bomb, cover now. Oh, Tyler one just not able. What is what is Markiplier doing? In a inside cradle on the wolf, but wolf is not the legal man. Of the ring. I think Tyler's were going back to his corner. I thought they were. I thought those two were going to go fight off, fight in the outside. But it looks like Tyler thought thought better. Went to the corner because Markiplier getting pubbled in the in the wrong side of the ring now. Merriweather looking for something big here. Looking for the spear and he got it. Didn't get much into it in terms of power because it was right there to hit it. But hit the spear nonetheless. Markiplier not going down yet. That's a two count. Wolfgang tagged in now. Wolf kind of getting fired up. I don't know what you could feed off because the crowd ain't here just yet. Oh, what a chop. Make it a second. Off the ropes. And the third chop connects. And now the sleeper is locked in. This has taken out Market Player a few times in the past. And it takes him out tonight. Wolf and Merriweather. Avenger lost from last week. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I don't know how this tag team works, but it works just fine according to, well, the stats. As they continuously continue to beat out their opponents. Whether or not their opponents is, of course, Markiplier or Tyler One or somebody else. But still, I mean, they're getting W's, they're racking up W's, and they're having a blast doing it. Now, before we get into the second contest of the day, let me actually fix the setting that I need to fix. Let me do that real quick. That's going to take me... That won't take me too long. I just need to... Where is it at? There it is. There. Now we should be fine here to get the big matchup tonight. One of two Fatal 4-Way contests that we're going to be dealing with here. There we go. We got two Fatal 4-Way contests coming up, and we got our first one here tonight. Right a doozy of one as well. Hanasaki Miyabi, who was in the Elimination Chamber matchup at Invasion, is going to be taking on three competitors I didn't think would have a singles, a singles match tonight, or a, at least contest at all. Midori, and then taking on a debuting Reed, Reed X, alt, the Ultimate X, as he likes to be called. So we see another, we see another debuted person coming into Renegade. Very interesting, very interesting. And then we got Auto Dandis. From the Hollow Stars tag team, he's going to be competing in this Fatal 4-Way contest tonight. Not the only time we'll see a Hollow Star in a matchup tonight. It's kind of weird, though, because two out of the four here are compete. They're, they're in a tag team together. Hanasaki and Aru are in a tag team together. They team up with Astal in the Hollow Stars group. But tonight, they're rivals, and they're going to be facing off against not only the, each other, but also Midori and uh, somebody brand new to the VWA with... Not only that, but this contest is also a false count anywhere matchup. Not often do we get fatal four ways or multi bay matches in general in a false count anywhere contest, but this this one it is. We're gonna send it down the ringside for this big matchup for tonight. Big contest for all competitors involved. Hanasaki again in a multi man match. Japan, weighing in at 200 
120 pounds, Sunshine. It's going to be quite the matchup here tonight. One of two Fatal 4-Way matchups. And again, we have a debuting person here tonight, which is going to get very interesting to say the least. All four competitors tonight needing to get some sort of momentum shifts and going for their favor. Midori, need, Midori hasn't been on Renegade for the past few weeks, but he's back now tonight in a fatal four-way matchup that subsequently can help him get back into the, get into the hunt. He's got this and potentially a match in the Money in the Bank to go for. I'm confident that one of these competitors will be involved in the Money in the Bank matchup. Which, for those who do not know what that is, for Money in the Bank, it is for the second straight Super Show. We're going to have a, a little special thing. But I'll talk about that here after this contest. Uh, a new comer to the VWA. A new comer to the VWA. And from New York, weighing in at 228 pounds, Sweetness Breed Ultimate X. Things are getting interesting now. Not so sure what reads style is debut in here tonight for the vwa for the first time what a way to debut too not the first time we've seen somebody debut in a multi-man match and even though the odds are stacked at his fate against him i've seen competitors win these kinds of matchups and i don't think i've seen a singles match from Otto. Maybe. It's been a while since I've seen Adu in a singles match. If he has, if he's had one at all. Things are going to get crazy here tonight. Balls count anywhere, so action inside and outside will be very important to call. Not often do we get this kind of stuff, but we're getting one right now. Anasaki, Midori, a debuting Reed, and Arudandis all in the ring at the exact same time. Balls count anywhere. Delayed vertical suplex by Hanasaki. A very delayed vertical suplex. Meanwhile, Aru with that spitty kill kick to Midori. And a kick to the back of Reed. Over the shoulder. Hanasaki and Aru pulled that same move uh, with their opponents, which is kind of not, which is kind of nice to see. Those who uh, also at the same time have not been going at it for each other, but that could all change here if one person tries to do a cover on their set opponent that they're going against right now. Hanasaki and Reed inside the ring and Audu and Midori outside the ring, but again, this is a false count anywhere, so it doesn't matter where they're at. They can pin just like this. Hanasaki with the pin on Reed, but gets a one count. Covered by Midori on the outside. But doesn't even get a one. 
Could have gotten a one if the referee was right there. Referee's got a big job to do tonight. Keeping an eye on both the inside and outside of the ring. Face first in the corner goes Reed. Hanasaki looking strong tonight, but that is big. I mean, what else do you expect from a number, former number one contender for the world championship? Under with Midori. Hanasaki back into the cover. Reed kicks out at one. Aru comes into the ring. Oh, Hanasaki tried to sneak in an attack. Doesn't get it, but he may hit. Nice little crossroad there. Now focus his attention back to Reed. And Aru with a step up drop kick. Aru now turns his attention back to Hanasaki. Big suplex. I think he may be going for the three amigos as well. No, but Dory interrupts it. Ah. Interesting to say the least. But now roles have switched. Midori and Otto now in the ring. And Hanasaki and Reed outside the ring. Reed taking a lot of punishment tonight in his debut. Meanwhile, inside the ring, Aru with Midori in a position for the jackknife. No. Face first into the corner. Looks like he was going for a jackknife, but didn't get it. Hanasaki with that spinning heel kick. The read on the outside. If you're on the outside, though, you do have a disadvantage with these kinds of matches because the referee takes a while to get to the outside of the ring, which sometimes could mean that your opponent can counter in time. Mod God, what's up? What's up? Reed with Midori set for something. Face Buster. Reed's getting fired up. Big clothesline. It's a second. Ducks underneath and hits a jumping clothesline for a third. Midori now in trouble into the corner. Teammates working against each other in this one. Reed go for something. Big forearm strike from one side of the ring to the next. Oh, Midori though. Caught him. T-bone. Aru had a camel clutch on Hanasaki, but Hanasaki fought out of that. Not too bad, not too shabby. A good matchup so far tonight. Midori, big face bust. Wow, that was a big one too. Midori setting up, setting up for big. He's got him up. Oh! Cover. Oh, just broken up by Hanasaki. That would have been it, probably. Oh, wow. Oh, Hanasaki. Oh, Hanasaki, not. Not phased by that. I think that's a fallaway slam by Midori. He was not phased by that at all. My lord. This, this is definitely a fatal four-way. Even though we got two competitors from the Hollow Stars team, they're going against each other tonight. Reed with a cover on Midori. Hanasaki, I think, tried to break up the first pitfall attempt of the referee. Was trying to think, see, ah. Referee has a hard job tonight because this is a false count anywhere as well, so... I'll give him credit. I'll give him credit. He's doing a good job tonight. So far. Shot to the back. Otto and Midori are inside the ring, but both competitors down. Otto now back to his feet. Prime position for either one to strike. Midori in trouble. In a camel clutch. Taking a lot of punishment so far. Hanasaki there to break it up, though. Hanasaki's been really good so far, breaking up covers and submission attacks. Attempts, I should say. 
And then a big swinging neck breaker there. Suplex by Otto. Now he's going to go for what I was believe to be the three amigos. He's at two. He tried this earlier on Hadasaki, but was interrupted. He's not going for a cover just yet. Hanasaki going for something on Reed. He's got him in the back suplex. Oh, hit him with a power bomb. Meanwhile, Aru with a submission. You break up a pinfall by doing a submission all at the exact same time. That was smart. That was smart. Jackknife position? No, 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 no. Razor's edge, maybe. Maybe. No, into the powerbomb. Audio likes to pull both of those moves out. The Razor's Edge and the powerbomb. So I figured he was going to go for Razor's Edge the first attempt, but he didn't. Audio up top, though. He does this often, too. He's flying. Fox Flash and connects. Big one. Big one for a big boy. That should easily win him. Oh, nope. Never mind. Reed was there to break it up. Off the ropes. Hanasaki being sent over the top again. Reed not faced by Audu giving him a shot. Oh, now it looks like he is. Marcus Devil May Cry. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Into the corner goes Midori. Reed with a cover on Hanasaki. Hanasaki, though, not allowing Reed to get a one count. It is hard for anybody to do a cover on the outside of the ring and make it work, especially in this kind of battle. It is more likely that you're probably going to see the winning fall happen inside the ring, I would think. Hanasaki countered whatever Reed was going for, which would have been ultimately the finisher. Jumping heel kick miss. Is he real? Oh, wow. I'd like to see Tama uh, Johnny wrestling in uh, AEW. Just saying. Reed with a cover on Hanasaki and not getting the win there. Almost. But not yet. Reed is a debuting person, just an FYI, for those still, still new, just joining us even. Midori with a cover on Hanasaki. That was kind of crazy to see. Face first on the apron goes Hanasaki. On the bot near the middle left of the screen, Reed and Adu fighting. All four in outside the rig, which is a good idea. Midori with a cover on Hanasaki. Referee off screen making the count. Oh, what a counter. Face first goes Reed again. That could do it. Not going for the cover, though. Into the post. Oh, right face first into the post. STF locked in by Adu under Reed. Broken up by Midori just in the nick of time. Probably would have seen a submission right there. Reed's taking, everybody's taking a bit of punishment tonight. Top rope goes Adu. He's got two. Uh oh. Whoa. I don't see that often by Adu. Big fella. And he's got a submission hold locked in. And Reed tapped out immediately. Adu with the win. Big win tonight. Reed took too much punishment from those moves. And tapped out. Big win by Otter tonight. Especially because you don't see that. You don't see that man in uh, many singles contests. So interesting to say the least. He gets a win in one of his only singles matches you'll ever see. And speaking of the Hollow Stars theme. Estelle and Ash are going to be going at it again for the... I think for the second time in singles co uh, competition. These two have met in tag team matches before with Ash and Malcolm taking on Astal and Aru multiple times in the past. 
tonight. Ash meets up against Estelle one more time in singles competition. The last time these two met in singles competition, Ash picked up the win. Interesting to say the least. So we'll send it back down to ringside for this contest. Astell coming from the corner, from the crowd. What in the world? A cheap shot by Astell. What a cheap shot by Astell. Ash not allowing that one to go by too easily. Big clothesline there. I'm starting to think with the history between these two that they are not liking each other. That could be my only assumption. Ash going to the outside. No disqualifications in this contest. He's got the baseball bat. That is a... Oh, my Lord. Oh, Ash still taking the bat, though. Oh, Ash with a lucky little hit there to make him drop the bat. Oh, Ash out with a counter. Running Bulldog. I'm starting to think these two may not like each other. This is not typical from a singles contest. Cover by Astell now. Kick out. Kick to the back. I'm starting to think with the way Astell has been wrestling tonight, I'm starting to think that Estelle's kind of not happy with Ash for some reason. Possibly because he was in the World Championship hunt when he wasn't even on the card. That could be a reason, but I doubt it. He still have had history, both singles and tag team action. Ash face first into the ring post many times. Another cover. Still kicks out at one, though. Shot to the head there. Shot to the back of the head. Astell could be thinking of the reverse DDT slam. Right on the baseball bat. Back first. Extra damage. Resilience enough, though. Ash kicks out. Estelle thinking of what to do next. He's going to call for it. Is a shining wizard? Spinning wizard, no. And that'll probably do it. And it, do oh, it does not. Usually don't see people kick out that late after a spinning wizard. Shot to the head. Ash trying to come back. Forearm. Shot to the head. And a bulldog. Is Ash getting the comeback that he needs? Front face lock. Oh. Onto the ropes. Off the ropes. Nope. Ash Hell with a shot to the head. Wait. Off the rebound. Big clothesline. Close line. And a cover. Just a two count, though. Now Ash looking for big. Ash elim eliminated two people in the Elimination Chamber matchup. And he could eliminate Astell tonight with that dirty deeds. Is it enough? Yes, it is. Ash picks up a win. That he could not get at elimination chamber at the elimination chamber, but a win tonight nonetheless. Here is your winner, Daddy Ashley Extreme. 
resilient enough to not only kick out of the reverse ADT slam, but a shining spinning wizard. I keep conf confusing the two names. Shining wizard's different. Very different. Big win by Ash, though. Starting to get back on a roll. Ash now starting to get on a roll right now. He's climbing the ranks once again. He is climbing the ranks. For those not knowing about uh, what Amber Glow is going for, they're not going for tag team titles. They are, what I assume, they're going for one title each. Both the singles, uh, singles uh, titles each. I think it's better to have the world championship and the other singles championship as a tag team than the tag team champions. That's my opinion, though. I mean, if you are in a three-way stable, you could get both at the same time. You never know. That's actually pretty... You know, you get all the singles gold and the tag team gold. What a way to assert dominance. But there's only two people at Amber Glow, so... That... That can't happen. But the best they could do is Malcolm... Mal I don't know what title Malcolm's going for, but Ash was in the world title hunt not too long ago, but... Either way, we have another debut tonight for Renegade. We saw one earlier with Reed, the Ultimate X, in a uh, losing effort, to say the least. But Han Biel will be debuting tonight against the reigning television champion. Interesting to say the least. Let's see how this debut is. A reigning TV champion didn't compete at Invasion, so he's still, still the longest reigning TV title holder as of this moment. This is going to be... This is going to be quite the matchup tonight because, again, we... This... Saigusa has not faced Han so far. This will be his first time doing that, though. So it'll be interesting to see... What the game plan is for our reigning television champion. The action doesn't stop with Renegade, though, after our main event for tonight. Velocity will be coming up in a few short... In a while. Possibly an hour. I would say a few short moments, but that would be a lot. Things are going to get interesting tonight. A win here tonight by Han would put him in the TV title hunt instantaneously. Saigusa won this TV title not too long ago against Samasan. And he's been looking pretty dominant so far. He's been looking good so far. We'll see if that that sort of dominance can continue, especially against, against a newcomer. I've not seen Han wrestle, so this will be quite interesting to say the least. South Korea, weighing in at 220 pounds, Hank Byron. I'm not too sure if we got any more debuts coming within the next couple of weeks. I could be wrong. We see a lot of debuts. We see a lot of we've seen a lot within the last few weeks. So it'll be interesting to see if we got any more coming our way after tonight. The current reigning the champion taking on a newcomer in the VWA. 
Thaguso with a little shot to the head to start things off. And now he's getting... Nice little start there by the champion. Oh, try to go for what I think would be a German suplex. But Han with the counter and underhook suplex. And out of the ring goes a champion. Big throw over the top there. Inside the ring. Oh, miss. Saigusa didn't miss with that one. Shot to the head. Corner to the corner. Big clothesline out of the corner there. Shot to the back. To the corner. Oh, Han with a reversal. And a... Ooh. Nice little back suplex there. Han is pretty tall compared to Saigusa. Saigusa stands at what? 5'7", five, 5'8"? Five, I think... Tilt the world back breaker by Han there. I think Han's got to be right up to the 6 feet mark. Right damn close to it. Miss with a kick. That clothesline by Saigusa for his efforts. I just like Gusa may have been maybe just a tad bit shorter than 5'8. Maybe 5'7? Close enough. But there's a big size difference. Han with something. Going for the underhook suplex again. Gets a second one and cover. But gets a one count there. A knee to the back there. Going for the back. Sidewalk slam again. Not a tilt world backbreaker like he did earlier. A sidewalk slam, though. And again, missed with that kick. Trying to go for some sort of kick, but Zygusa keeps coming back with that. Snapmare. And now slowing down the pace with a little... Wait. We couldn't get it locked in all the way, though. Counter by Han. Saigusa came back with a kick of his own. And out of the ring goes Han. Champion standing tall. A knee to the back. Inside the ring. Big chop. Oh, calf crusher. And Han doesn't look like he's wearing shoes, so this probably hurts even more. Oh, Han fights out, though. Elbow to the back. Shot to the back of the head. Oh, my. That looked like a back suplex turned face buster. That was an incredible move. It doesn't put him away though. Even with the height uh, the height of that, that still kept Saigusa in the thick of things. Kick to the leg. Han looking nice and strong so far in his debut. Giving the champion a run for his money. And a close line there. Ooh, a deadlift tilt a whirl slam. Wow. Saigusa fights out. Shot to the ribs. Uh-oh. Saigusa. Clash. And a cover. 
And the win. Both debuts. Lose. Saigusa with the win. Here is your winner, bad boy, Simon TV champion standing tall tonight. Once again, not, not often do we see this man. Not in a uh, winning predicament. Good win by Saigusa here tonight. That'll put anybody in the TV title hunt with a big warning not to mess with him. He's not the biggest superstar in the sh in the in the scene, but he's definitely the toughest SOB in the scene. That's for damn sure. That is for damn sure. All right, we still have one more singles match for tonight, and this one is a a repeat of some sort, a rematch of some sort from several, several weeks back before Ritaka won the title against Taka in a tables match. These two met up in a singles matchup beforehand and Ritaka won against Taka, so this is not nothing new and these two have been having quite themselves a bit of history against each other. We'll find out if Ritaka will be taking on Taka for the world championship at Money in the Bank or around the corner or something like that. Or if a newcomer will try and step up and try to take their name into the world championship hunt. I am curious to see what's going on with the world championship scene, especially after Ritaka somehow retaining his VWA men's world championship in an elimination chamber matchup. It was very interesting to say the least calling that match, but let's set it down for this contest. Ritaka versus Taka Rajiman in a false count anywhere match. Champions somehow defeated five competitors in order to reclaim this title. It's interesting to say the least because Ritaka also came out very last, but at the same time, that was both an advantage and a disadvantage because even though it was an advantage because he was the freshest out of everybody, it was a disadvantage because I bet that five guys could have attacked him at the same time if they really wanted to. Because the ring was full. The ring got full for both Elimination Chamber matchups. And Ritaka still managing to, to defeat the odds. And retain the title that he won against the man he's facing tonight on an episode of Renegade. This is going to get interesting to say the least. If Taka wins this matchup tonight, he'll definitely be put in front face and center. Taka never got a sh uh, shot at the Elimination Chamber. Instead, that went to Ash, which was a little bit of a surprise. But I'm not... I'm not going to say... I'm not going to... I'm not going to say anything crazier about that. It, that stuff kind of just happens. Balls got anywhere matchup for tonight. World champion taking on possibly the next contender for that said champion. Battle of the Takas. Here we go. Three Taka with a job kick to start. Taka had a couple shots to the head for Ritaka, but Ritaka's coming back, and he's coming back pretty hard. Taka on the outside, back inside. Stop up, Hurricane Rana.
Little headlock now in the middle of the ring. Ritaka looking good so far. Oh, Taco with a standing drop kick sends the champion rolling out. Ritaka though comes back with a drop kick of his own. Reversal by the other Taka. And a snap suplex. And Ritaka. Oh, Ritaka got right back up for the suplex but ran face first into Taka's trap. What in the world is Taka doing? Taka's in the crowd. Ritaka following. They're fighting in the crowd. This has never happened in the VWA. Things are getting feisty here. Balls count anywhere as well, so it's not like it's... What are they doing? Fans are getting a front row seat, all right. They're fighting heavy in the crowd. They're, this is as... This is, well, I mean, it's happened once before fighting in the crowd. We saw it during a TV title match between Saigusa and Sebasad, but it only lasted about a second before they went back into the ring. This has spawned really far off into the crowd. They're beating the hell out of each other. But again, falls do count anywhere, so no matter where they go, Taka bouncing back. Oh, Taka stepping back from the shots. Taka getting shot back. Which one? Who knows? Oh. Oh, right into the barricade. Goes the champion. Oh, a shot from the back to the ribs. From face lock. What's Taka doing now? Things are getting very feisty here. Where are they going? Shot to the ribs. Big shot to the head there. They're fighting pretty big here. Oh, miss with a step up heel. And they're still chopping each other down. This place is surrounded by weapons of all sorts. Ritaka, though. Oh, man. Cover. And the win. The most unique false count anywhere I have ever seen. Ends in the motherfucking crowd. Holy shit. What a win. What? Malcolm? What? What the hell? Malcolm Bell coming out to confront Ritaka. Mate just had a historic Falls Count Anywhere match. At, wow. Could Malcolm Bell be looking for a title shot in the future? World Championships looking mighty interesting, to say the least. I mean, holy shit. That was interesting, though. The whole match was interesting because I fought in the crowd. The match ended in the crowd. Ball's gone anywhere, bro. That, that's... Wow.
Semi-main event time for tonight. Another fatal four-way Falls Count Anywhere matchup, just like what we saw from earlier. Lumen taking on Kaito, taking on Kashido, and taking on Iago. Interesting lineup here tonight. And our main event for tonight is a tag team match between Niter and the new debuting tag team, Trash Taste. Trash Taste debuted at Invasion for the tag team champions. They lost... But they're in the main event for tonight, so we'll see what's going on with that. Let's send it down back to ringside for our semi-main event. I haven't seen much from Lumen in the past couple of weeks, so this is something we're looking for tonight. It's the first time he's wrestling in quite some time. The last time we saw him was, I think, a few Renegades after No Burst. No. What was the... All in. Same main event time, though. He's got a chance, though, to regain some momentum. Fatal 4-Way match here for a semi-main event. World Championship. That, that's going to get interesting, to say the least. That's going to get interesting. I'm, I cannot wait to see what's going on between, the, uh, between Ritaka and Malcolm Bell. It's wrestling time, all right. The super athlete, D-O-G. Got a lot of action still left here, though. This is our semi-main event for tonight's episode of Renegade, but we still got Velocity to go through as well, so look forward to that. Then remember, though, this, all, this Fatal 4-Way is a Falls Count Anywhere matchup. So, just like in the last Fatal 4-Way match that we had earlier today, this contest here could end outside the ring. And from Japan, weighing in at 221 pounds, the technician. Gonna get interesting to say the least because these four competitors haven't had much luck in terms of momentum in the past few weeks. So this matchup is going to help out somebody very, very greatly, I think. Fatal 4-Way Falls Count Anywhere. I mean, we just had a Falls Count Anywhere match that was so insane. I don't think I'd see that kind of thing happen again for a long time. The match ending inside the crowd. That whole matchup was just big in terms of everything that went down. Malcolm Bell coming out at the end. Wow. Wow. One person that needs to get back into the title hunt here is this man right here. Things are going to get quite intense here tonight. When this man comes into the ring, you know it's all out. And 
from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, the Beastmaster, the best, Girl Dynamite, the Urban Gladiator. Man, this Fatal 4-Way is stacked. <laughs> Then right after this contest, we still have one more matchup here on the main event, which is also technically multi-man. It's a tag team match. We don't end Renegade with tag team action, but tonight we are. Things are getting interesting to say the least. I'm excited for this matchup, though. I always like Fatal 4-Way matchups. They always bring out the best in every single opponent, every single competitor. Usually the ones that end up winning those matchups get big amounts of momentum. Curious to see what's going to be going on in uh, Velocity, though, because... The fallout for Velocity is going to be a whole lot different. Ironically, I speak about it as best girls coming out to the ring. I, I know, I know, I know, but I timed it right. I timed it perfectly. I'm good with my timing. I bring this up because at Invasion, all titles from Renegade that were defended, with the exception of the TV title, because the TV title was not defended at Invasion, it was just the world title and the tag team titles. But they still, they were the only titles that did not change hands. All of the titles on Velocity changed hands. So I'm curious who's going to be going after those titles next. Because that is there's going to be fresh faces in the competition for those titles, I bet. There has to be new faces going for titles at that point. We have a new world champion. We have a new million dollar champion and new tag team champions. Every title has changed hands at least once in the VWA. That's insane. It took us about three months to get all titles to change hands and we're underway. Both competitors started with their battles off with a shoulder tackle. That was interesting. That was synchronized as fuck though. That was a great way to start this matchup. My lord. All four bat all four outside the ring. Falls do count anywhere, so it's not like this doesn't matter. Hard to call action here when everybody's having big moves left and right. Race first goes Yago. No fall away slam there and a snake eyes to the to the steps. Lumine Kishido back inside the ring. Uh, boss and crab. I almost called it a camel clutch again. Almost called it that. God damn it. I confused the two moves. Yago and Kaito outside the ring. Those two have had history together in more ways than one. Lumino with Kishido now in a camel clutch. Trying to break it up. They do. Front face lock. Yago goes over the top. Side rush and leg sweep. Kaito with the cover. Doesn't get a one on Yago though. That's hard to that's hard to do outside the ring as well. Ishida with a cover. Not even a one count either. Wow. Both pit attempts by uh, the competitors. Didn't even get a one count. So I think we're far from over in this matchup here. Belly to back suplex. Chop by Yago. 
off the ropes goes Lumen. Meanwhile, Yago with a tombstone pile driver on to Kaito. Spikes him head first into the middle of the mat. Yago and Lumen both call it for something big. Uh oh. Sharpshooter tied by Yago. Big ending by Lumen. Lumen, though, breaks up the submission attempt just in the nick of time. I think Yago's going for the cover. No, he's not. Lumen, though, tossing Yago out of the ring. Kushida with a cover on Kaito. One count. Didn't get much more after that. Grabs a leg. Kushido's leg and damp getting taken some damage. Oh, low blow by Kushido on the Lumen. And now we'll go for the cover. But does it get a three out of that? That's still somehow a two count. Two chokeholds going on inside the ring right now. Yago lets out of his hold. Uh oh, Kushida looking for something. Nope, Yago with a punch. Yeah, going uh, Kushido outside the ring now. Cover by Yago. Lumen with a with a nice little. Oh. Little chop there. Snake eyes onto the apron again. T-bone suplex. Oh. Right on the floor too. Kushido drive head first into the ring post. I don't know which one hurt more. But they gotta be damn close to each. A white little white noise there on the Kushido. Uh oh, tombstone in the outside by Yago. Oh my god, that had to hurt. I don't know. Can they go over the barricade in the in this contest? They're damn close to. I don't think they can in a fatal four-way. And even if they can, I don't know if they will. Shot to the chest. I'll go with a counter. All four are outside the ring, so they could pin if they pin each other outside the ring, if both competitors are outside or all competitors, I should say, it's not that hard. The referee can count from anywhere. So there's not much of a delay in terms of a pinfall attempt or a submission attempt, I should say. Yago going for a submission, but Kashiro's also going for a figure four, so I think that may break it up in time. Unless somebody taps out. Did Lumen tap? I think Yago tap. Yago's the winner. Wow. That was hard to call because both competitors had submission that's on their opponents. But best girl wins the semi-main event for tonight. What a win. What a win. Not often do we see Yago with a lot of success with the sharpshooter, but he's gotten another win using that move. He's done it a few times, but not very often. Uh, okay, main event time for tonight. Seth and Takeshi will be taking on C-Dog VA and Gigguk from Trash Taste. Trash Taste debuted at Invasion to take on the Nichisaji managers for the tag team titles. In a losing effort, but tonight's main event has two title tag team championship contenders facing off against each other. Maybe a rivalry will brew between these two teams. I doubt it, though. I mean, 
neither almost had a shot at the tag team titles until the until these two came out to the ring and and all that so interesting to, interesting to say the least we're gonna see how these two shape up against each other these two teams shape up against each other then don't forget right after this we will uh, on the live stream we will immediately move on to the velocity show which will probably be a lot different going into the show than last week because of the fact that all three titles have changed hands but let's send it down for tonight's main event interesting to see what's going on in this main event for tonight Tag team matchup here tonight. Be interesting to say the least how this matchup's gonna go. Because these two tag teams have a lot of they have a lot of star power and talent on them. No bias. I'm just saying. Okay, maybe a little bit of bias. But just a little. Be interesting to see because I believe one of these two tag teams, if not the Wolfpack, they'll probably go for the tag team titles at Money in the Bank. I didn't really talk much about Money in the Bank, though, but I'm not going to really talk much about it tonight because it's not relevant here in the main event as the main event is a tag team match and the, the special for the Super Show is um, nothing to do with tag teams. The debuting Trash Taste, their first appearance on Renegade. I think these two are happy to be here. They debuted at Invasion and they looked more serious coming out than they do right now. But I mean, they're not competing for a title right now. They're, a pe they're competing to possibly base off for a title shot again. But we still got about four more weeks away before we get to Money in the Bank, so it's hard to tell right now who will be facing off against the Bank. I mean, even if, you know, the question is, is who could face them? But the bigger question is, who the hell could beat Tanichi Sanji Mantras? If Trash Days could come in, nobody knows what their moveset was. Nobody knows what their fighting style was. Nobody knows how well they were going to work as a tag team. Nobody knows how well they could get along with each other in wrestling. They could have easily knocked out the tag team champions. But the Nishisaji managers made it look easy. But a win here tonight probably will change a few doubters' minds. Big tag team matchup here tonight. Tornado style tag team matchup as well. Forgot to mention that. Bell's under Bell's wrong, we're underway. Three matchups tonight with four competitors simultaneously inside the ring. Flying forearm by Connor into Takeshi. That makes Trash Taste have a nice little... Well, actually, now that I say that, Seth with a reversal on the Garn. Oh, a shot right in the middle of the head. And out goes to catch you to the outside. Balls don't count anywhere in this bot matchup. However, there is no disqualification, so you could see somebody go with for a weapon. Drop kick by Connor to Takeshi. Oh. Garnt stuns. Seth stuns him again. Seth, though, not getting phased by Garnt's little moves. Oh, wait. To the corner. Close side out.
I'm calling what's inside because falls don't count anywhere. Little leg drag, leg drag there by Seth. Seth and Takeshi looking really good so far, putting damage on their opponents. Let's see if that continues to the rest of the matchup, though. I think Seth's going for the top rope, and he is. Gronto in a seated position. I think Seth's waiting for him to get up. And he does. Oh, but he's going down. Oh, a backhand. Seth with a reversal, though. Over into the corner. Missed with a splash. That allows Garn to take over, but for how long? Not for long, it looks like. Seth back on offense. Michinoku driver at the same time on the outside as Takeshi with the snake guys on the stairs. Cover one. Back inside the ring goes both Sea Dog VA and Takeshi. Double drop. Garn now with the advantage on Seth. Can that continue? Seth going... No, Garn going for a calf crusher. Oh, does he tap out? No, he does not. Seth breaks out just in the nick of time. Shot to the back. Electric chair. What's it going for here? Electric chair. Face buster. Connor rolling out of the ring. Wait. Look at the momentum. Seth. Spinning gaunt around multiple times. May have enough time to go for the cover. Somebody. Takeshi with the cover on Giga. Did they get the win? No. They get a two count. Connor though coming back in. Oh, just barely breaks up what could have been the final blow, possibly, to Gaunt. Oh, and a step up. He'll kick. Oh, but Seth. Kipping up just in the nick of time. And a big shot to the head there. Almost a GTS-like move. Could have been that. Seth, though, taking this offense to... Ooh, shot there. Close line there. Ducks. Underneath, clothesline. Giga going for a weapon. Uh-oh. Small crap, small package, cradle. Kick out by Seth, though. Oh! Collateral hit by the baseball bat. Gone. Everywhere in sight. He's going for that. He went for the baseball. And he got all. He got all of that, including his own partner, by accident, of course. Trash taste looking strong in the later going. Big super kick. Cover now. Broken up by Seth. Connor with a fireman's carry on top. This hung on the top rope. Step up, heel kick by Seth. Try to come back. Takeshi. Fight now. Uh-oh. Knee to the top of the head. Seth, though, looking for something big. Torture rack? Torture rack. Oh, neck breaker. That could be it. A torture rack neck breaker. That had to hurt. Is that it? Yes, it is. Two matches, two losses for Nider. Here are your winners. The original gangsta, Seth Yuri, and the samurai, Tanaka, the Nexus. Great main event here for tonight. That could have gone either way. Very back and forth between the two teams. I could have went anywhere else. But Niner standing tall once again in the main event. Good start to what potentially may not be the last time those two will meet up against each other. Oh, what a, what a, what a show. What a show.
And we still got a few more matches left to go here, but not on Renegade, but on Velocity. That'll come up here in just a few moments. What a matchup. We got maybe one answer in terms of who may be in contention for a title. And that'd be the World Championship. Ritaka winning against Taka in a false cut anywhere match, but Malcolm coming out at the very end to confront the world champion. Lots of stuff that still needs to be answered here, but we still got a lot of time left, so that makes a whole lot of sense here heading forward. Coming up in just a few moments on stream, I will have Velocity up and running, but uh, if you're watching this on the VOD on YouTube, this will be the end of this video, so look forward to next week's episode of Renegade, but... Velocity is coming up in just a few short moments. Stay tuned. <laughs>